Hi everyone. Recently, OpenAI released the improved version of their model called Tex DaVinci, which is the most powerful model they have. And now the the release version is 003. Earlier it was a 002. Now they claim that you know this the new version produces the higher quality writing, can handle the more complex instructions. So I wanted to test it quickly on the use cases. Usually, you know, uh, I do frequently as a freelancer. Uh, so we will start with the basic simple use cases first. So the first I want to test, you know, how does it reply for, uh, how does it calculate sentiment and explain, you know, why that particular sentiment is true. So let me copy, you know, some kind of a review. So I'm just uh, copying some review from Amazon and we will compare both the things. So here we have a text that is 002, this side we have 003. So that's what we're going to test, right? So let me call it, let's call this thing as a review. Okay, and we will give some instruction to it. So let's say, you know, write the sentiment of the review and explain why. I will just put it as a vague. I could write a clear instruction also, but let it be. Um, let's see what 002 does. And it is saying the sentiment of the review is that the phone is good for mild to medium usage, but it is not a great. The reviewer notes that the phone sometimes pauses when launching application. Okay, this is what why it is answering, you know. Let's see how does the other model will answer. We don't see any significant difference because this is a, a normal use case. Okay, seems to be it's taking a bit long. I have observed this today that you know OpenAI seems to be overloaded with Insta, you know uh, request. Okay, now it is here saying it is a negative a review. It's a negative. Do you think it is negative? Let's see. Uh, so this is uh, you know, good, but not so great. That is the overall summary, but we have given this text to GPT-3, right? So user has given four star, but what he says, the value for money, but would not rate as a great. He will not consider it as a great. Sometimes it will take a pause and all this thing. If you handle my usage, then this is good mobile for you. I don't recommend for heavy usage. Yeah, definitely he has, a, uh, you know, uh, a view both positive and negative but i would still not call it as a negative directly let's see why it's think so the reviewer mentioned that the phone is good for mild to medium usage but would not recommend it for heavy okay in that context it is try to label it as a negative uh, maybe you know i'm not sure whether it is how good it is so let's test it on the other thing what we have so extract some aspects and sentiments from the review that's what i want to test so let's 5002 and we want to extract certain aspects and sentiments from this review. Now it says that the review highlights both the positive and negative aspects of the phone. The positive aspects are in that uh, good value for money and has a mild to medium usage. And has mild to medium usage. This is not something a positive point. The negative aspects are that it may sometimes take a pause when launching applications directly from the notification. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Again, if you want the output generated to be in a specific format, you should give an example here that given this review, this should be the output. So currently we have given only instruction. That is why it is, you know, trying whatever it can try. So if you are not familiar with this thing, I have recorded earlier GPT-3 videos. You can watch and see how to give instruction plus example, you know, to GPT-3. Let's copy the same thing the other side, which is, you know, three. And let's see what happens. Oh, here it says that these are the aspects, the value for money, launch applications, mild to medium usage, heavy and gaming users, features. No, it didn't, you know, extract it properly. The better thing we could have done is actually giving some example here so that we, you know, tell what to expect. Maybe we can try some other review. Let's take this review. Maybe that was not that good. Let's see. Yeah, but again, same thing, right? If you expect output to be a particular format, let's say, for example, I might have wanted aspect and sentiment pair. I could have given that example. But this is intentionally I'm putting it things as a, like, you know, uh, intentionally I'm putting things uh, as a, what do you call it? Not a clear instruction. They are just, uh, so these are the aspects you found. The aspects are bad delivery, battery, and camera. The sentiment for the review is a negative. Maybe what if we call extract aspect and sentiment pairs, so it will be more clear that we expect, let's say, 
both things together not like the uh, sorry okay now let's see now this inspection is much more clear compared to what was earlier okay now it expect a delivery which is worse the battery which is good did he say the battery is good yeah battery is good and the camera is an average okay this is what i so you need to either experiment with the instruction or better to give an example right so uh, now since it is clear for it but we are expecting it bears let's copy here and see what happens mm, okay see how it does it now it first find aspect separately delivery battery camera and charging and then then eventually it you know uh, try to answer each of them so i would say this is much more structured compared to what we got earlier so in that case i think 003 is doing better to you know pairwise uh, uh, things doing but again it's your choice what kind of output you're expecting so maybe let's say we want to extract name entities from the above link let's extract the name entities okay let's uh, submit the request and extract the name entities Oh, it is saying I. Why does it is saying I? Is it because iPhone? Uh, do you think anywhere it has iPhone or anything? I don't see it here. But anyway, the I is definitely not a entity. Phone, Flipkart, delivery is not an entity. Camera charger. You might call it, but they're still not the name entities. Flipkart is the only, uh, I would call it as a name entity. But anyway, let's compare with the, you know, they are entities, but they are not the named entities. Uh, let's see. What does 003 does? Okay. It is saying Flipkart, 21 days. Definitely, this is an entity, a name entity as a day or something. Battery, camera, okay. So both of the models are usually you want to categorize both camera, charger. These are aspect as an entity also, right? But this was, I was not expecting this one. This is better compared to this because it has this wrong I. Extract name entities from the above text. What about if we give the different example? Oh my God, these examples are bigger reviews. Mm, okay, I don't want to spend time on this. Let's go to the next thing. Write reply to this review. So we want new on this particular review. Write reply to this review. So let's submit the request. <laughs> write reply to the above review and it simply says write reply. My God. Let's let's do 003. Write reply to the above review. Definitely, there is. I think the um, GPT three is overloaded with the you know, request. Okay, this seems to be a genuine reply. Thank you for taking the time to share your experience with us. So it looks like you know the product owner is actually replying, right? So we apologize for the delay in the delivery. Definitely, the delivery is very worse. That's what it is saying. <clears throat> We are continuously striving to improve your, our delivery and the product performance. We appreciate it. This seems to be really genuine, right? This reply. Well, I'm not sure why. Let, let's give it a chance again, right? Let's give it a chance again. Okay. Very bad service. <laughs> right reply. Why is that? See. Here we see the uh, 003 is doing better. It is able to genuinely write the reply, right? 002 will also work good if you give one example here, but currently that's not what I'm doing. I'm just giving an instruction and that is also vague instruction, not a clear proper instruction. So yeah, only instruction case, it is not doing good, but this did uh, good. Uh, do you want to test it on something else? These are all bigger uh, kind of thing. Okay, let's say this guy seems to be not happy with all these things. Let's put a different review and 
why not give a chance again to 0, 0, 2 and see what happens. Oh, stop sequence. Write your reply here. 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, see? Doesn't seem to be doing good. Let's do the same thing with the um, 003. See what happens? Did you see a right reply to the above review? It's taking a long. Okay, we apologize for the inconvenience cause. We suggest you to visit the nearest service center and get your phone checked. We are sure that our technician will help you. This is good. This seems to be doing good. 003, even without any example, just instruction it is following. I think it is doing good compared to what we have, right? Now let's test it on something different. Create an outline for a blog. So we want to test, you know, some example where we want to ask it to create outline for some blog. Uh, let's give the name, maybe the block titled, you know, let's see this uh, building, you know, building custom uh, solutions using GPT-3, we will say, using GPT-3. Okay, this is what we are giving an instruction that we want to, you know, create the block outline. Now, let's see what happens with the 002. Okay, okay, this is what it tried. Introduction to GPT-3, why GPT-3, uh, good, not bad. Uh, let's test with the, you know, the other one, how it is able to do this. And let's see what 003 does. Again, it's going to take some time. Let's wait. Okay, this is now pretty slow. Okay, it is overloaded with a lot of instructions. That's what a uh, lot of requests. That's what I told you earlier, right? Seems to be they are getting too many requests and they are not able to handle it. Okay. <laughs> Let's let's submit the request again. What else we can do? Okay. This seems to be good, right? Not only the uh, the headings, it is also generating the subheadings. Wow, this is good. It it is doing it. So 003 seems to be more structured, and I think in in, in here also you could see the example. The difference between the 002 and the 003 seems to be more structured and point wise, right? And that is what you could see here also. This is good, I would say. Uh, so, definitely, uh, this case uh, it is doing good, okay? Uh, reply also, it did a good 003. These all were a small task, but uh, yeah, it's okay. But even also, I think here somewhere we observed that uh, 003 is more structured while giving the answer, like aspect, sentiment pairs. Let's try the other thing. Uh, I want to try this thing, right? Uh, we want to ask GPT-3 to write a review for us, right? Write restaurant review based on these notes. The notes is the name of the restaurant is, let's say, ABC Biryani. And uh, let's write something, right? Maybe I would say, you know, a great biryani. Then I would say, okay, it's great biryani. Then what else? Uh, I would say crowded place, maybe crowded. Then I would say a bit spicy. Mm, I would say it is also applicable. Okay, and let's write a review according to these notes and see what happens. So we are submitting to 002. So it is saying, if you are looking for a great biryani, ABC biryani is the place to go. It can get a bit crowded, but the food is worth it. Keep in mind that the dishes can be a bit spicy, but they are very affordable. And this is good. Uh, means 
I think this is better than what I could write uh, here. So let's try here and see what 003 does. Okay, it is doing some long test. I recently had a pleasure of eating ABC biryani, eating at ABC biryani, and I was thoroughly impressed. The biryani was absolutely delicious, and I was surprised by how affordable it was. The only downside was that it was a bit crowded, but that's to be expected for a place with such a great food. The biryani had a nice kick of spice, making it even tastier. Highly recommend. Oh, this is way better than what we just saw here, right? Right. This is good. See how it use those things and frame it in a good sentence, not just like you know uh, something a bit crowded. You know the, the way it has framed those notes into sentences. I would say this is definitely better than you know uh, what we saw here. So overall, when it comes to the complex, somewhat complex thing, right? Writing a blog outline or maybe creating a review, replying the review, we could clearly see the zero zero three. Is doing better job compared to you know uh, 002 that's what at least what I observed but you can also try and see you know what works uh, good for you so I hope you found this video insightful at least if you are even uh, not familiar with GPT-3 you could see just by giving a small instruction you know uh, what awesome things GPT-3 can do and maybe you can build some awesome stuff with that so thank you very much for watching. Again, if you want to learn more about GPT-3, I have a whole playlist dedicated to it. I can share the link in the description. Thank you.